In this video, we're going to graph uh, a set of vectors. This is a, an interesting example. So the set in question is the set containing the vector 3, 1 plus, okay, so plus alpha times the vector uh, 1, 2, okay? And here alpha is a real number. So we're going to sketch the graph of this set uh, in the xy plane. So this will be our y-axis. Okay, this will be our x-axis. And so first, let's sketch the vector um, alpha times 1, 2, um, so this vector here. So this is just the line y equals 2x. Uh, in a previous video, we, um, we talked about this. But um, if you think about this vector alpha 1, 2, oops, 1, 2, you can use scalar multiplication, and so you get alpha 2 alpha. Okay. So if you think of this as your x component, your x is equal to alpha, okay? And then if you think of this as your y component, your y is equal to 2 alpha, okay? So your y is, whoops, 2 alpha. <laughs> I'm having a hard time writing. So y is equal to 2 alpha, but alpha is x, so y equals 2x. So, so you, end up getting, you, you, you end up getting this line here. So this is the line um, y equals 2x. So we're taking the line y equals 2x, and then like we're adding, we're adding a vector to it. So it's like we're we're translating the line y equals 2x by by this vector um, 3 1, right? So we're translating it by this vector. So let's just do a very rough sketch. Let's like pick nice values of alpha. Like let's say alpha equals 1. So if alpha equals 1, what 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 do we get? We get 3 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, so that's going to be 4, 3. So that's going to be like, let's see, so if this is, if this is 1, 1, 2, so 4, 3 is going to be like, well, the height is 3, right? So it's going to be like over here. So we're going from here, and we're going all the way to 4, 3. So that would be maybe 4, 3, roughly. So that's the terminal point right there. Boom. Okay, 4, 3. So that, that's a point that, that endpoint there is part of the graph of this vector. I'm just gonna, we're just going to graph all the endpoints of all the vectors in this graph. So that would be the first endpoint. Let's do another one. Let's do alpha equals, um, how, how about uh, negative 2? So we would have uh, 3, 1 plus negative 2. This is pretty tricky stuff. Negative 2, uh, 1, 2. So let's see. 3 minus 2 is uh, 1. And then 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So we're at 1, negative 3. Right? We're at 1, negative 3. So 1, 2, 3. So we're like, we're like here. So here's maybe it looks something like this. Right? So there's, there's our other endpoint. And so what you do is you end up doing this you know, infinitely many times. And you end up getting another vector that is actually, oh, it's a pretty good graph. I'm actually impressed with myself. That is parallel. Right? It's parallel to y equals 2x. So we took the line y equals 2x, we added another vector to it, and we basically translate it by this vector, and we end up with, with a parallel line. So um, that's all I wanted to show you in this video, just a, a kind of, a, of an interesting idea. So this is the graph of the set, by the way. So if we call this S, this is the graph of the set. This is the graph of the, uh, of the endpoints, right, of all of the vectors uh, in, this, in this set. That's it.